hi guys welcome back to my channel so first of all I want to apologize for the lighting I didn't want to shoot inside my house because um, I would have to uh, use a bright light and everything and the sun's out and I decided just to use natural lighting um, also I've been like really like sick due to um, various reasons, which I'll explain in this video, and, um, it's just, like, a crazy time to be alive right now, honestly, like, um, but regardless, I think that this is okay, like, this lighting looks fine, I don't know, I feel like there's a big shadow on top of my head, so maybe if I scoot in a little bit, you guys can see me better. This video is just going to be kind of a uh, story time video, chit chat. Um, I I said all these things to like my family and they think that I'm like, they probably think I'm like nuts or something, but um, this is just like what I've been experiencing for the past like two weeks, maybe I don't even think it's been two weeks. I think it's just been for the past week, even. Just, like, with, like, all this crazy stuff happening in the news. I feel like it's been getting to me or something, maybe. I don't know. But, um... I live in Portland, Oregon. And, um... There's just been a lot of crap happening. Like, they announced on the news that the, like, coronavirus or whatever like hit Oregon and like we would only have like uh not even till summer to live and then they like removed that article and so like that like just makes me wonder so much about like what what is the news even like it's just like a waste of time to even follow up on because obviously like I don't know what day is it well, it's only February still, so technically it could still happen, and maybe they're just removing it out of the news, so, um, people don't get all, like, shook up or something, I don't know, or because people are trying to control it, so, it's just, like, I don't know, it just, like, freaks me out, and I want to make a YouTube video on it, and <laughs> just because I feel like, um, it's, like, I don't know. It, it's kind of an interesting topic, in my opinion. Um, plus, I want to share with you guys what I've been eating. Because I was really, really, really sick last week. And I even missed work. Um, normally, I don't miss, like, any days of work. I'm, like, really good about uh, my attendance and everything. And I, I, was, I went to work and I, like, felt so dizzy that I had to go home. And, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna share my story with you guys because what if maybe I don't make it till summer and then you guys can see this video and remember me or something. <laughs> but, um, no, I just think it's a really interesting time to be alive. I think part of it is because it's 2020 and people are trying to say that the world's gonna end or whatever, or maybe it is, and... Like, this is when everybody's going to try to attack, you know, like, the U.S. or whatnot. So, there's just been a lot of stuff in the news. Read it, read up about it. Read up about the president. You know, what's going on in today's world. Because, honestly, I didn't do that until very recently. After I felt ill. Like, I was like, what the hell? Because, oh, and I'll also ex tell you guys... Um, and I have pictures too, so it's just kind of like a crazy, um, experience that I had last week. And, um, I also have a new diet plan because, um, I didn't think about, you know, all of this stuff with the stuff that I was eating previously. So this is going to be, uh like a story time plus a diet video all in one and I'm gonna try to make this really quick and try to like make this as short as possible so it's gonna be kind of a challenge. Alright so 
I'll start off by telling you guys what I experienced one night, and it was not normal. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, this... I don't know. I've been doing a lot of drinking lately. I can admit that. But I don't think that the two and two relate together. Like, it's not like... I don't even think I drank that night um, that I, I'm talking about. Okay, so... <laughs> moving on with the story. Okay, so... This was, I don't even know what night it was, but I decided to go out. It was like 3 a.m. It was almost 3 a.m. It was like 2.30 or something a.m. because I wanted to go get Taco Bell. I was so hungry, and I just get these late night cravings sometimes, and um, I, there's a Taco Bell that's, like, just down the street. There's a Taco Bell on every corner, honestly, but there's a, there's a Taco Bell that's, like, not that far from where I live, so I'm always just tempted to just go there and get some food. Not so much anymore because, like, I know that they put a lot of bad stuff in their ingredients, um, like, really, really bad stuff, so it's really not good to eat Taco Bell at all, and it, it, it'll make me break out and whatnot, but, um, anyways... That's besides the point right now. I went outside and there was a bunch of fog outside, so I just assumed that it was just a foggy night. I get into my car and it's pitch black outside, keep in mind. And then I go out and I make the turn that I normally do and I go down the street and then the fog is like thick like I didn't like I didn't want to go back like circle back home because I had already made plans I was gonna you know go to Taco Bell and get some food but then like halfway there I was like okay maybe I should go really should go back because the streets were covered completely in fog like thick thick fog like I I have a photo that I took um when I was at um Taco Bell because I was waiting for my food, and normally I wait with the window open, and honestly, I really should have had that window shut while I was waiting for that food, because, like, I have a photo that I took when I was, um, waiting for my food, and I'll put it, like, right here, um, but I don't know if you can tell, but, like, it's so foggy, like, so polluted, the air was so polluted that the, um, Embassy Suites sign looked like it was, like, floating in the air. And the streets were, like, you could not even see street lights. Like, that's why I really should have turned back, because it was so dangerous to be driving, and I really should have just gone back. But, like, once I got home, I felt, like, really, like, loopy, and, like... I just, like, it did, I, like, I didn't feel, like, I think I, I got intoxicated by something in the air. Like, I really do believe that I think that, um, I don't know if it was arsenic or what, but, um, there was something in the air, and I think it might have been, like, arsenic, because I told this to, like, several of my, like, pretty much my whole family, I told about this because I'm worried sick like maybe you know the stuff's in the air and I think a lot of the times it is in the air anyway because um like arsenic is like a metal like it's not good for you and I'm sure like it's just like that stuff is just always in the air you know um but this time like this fog was like so thick that um like you couldn't even see the signs, like the street signs or anything. So I really do think that I got poisoned um, by whatever the hell that was. And um, I wish I took more photos of it because like that photo, you can see like how polluted it is, but there were other sections of like streets that were covered in like whatever that was. And so I was like, really feeling loopy that night and then um I don't know like I like I don't know how to explain it like for the next like couple of nights I think I felt like um 
like I was almost like tripping on shrooms like I don't know how to explain it like even at work like because I, I had to work that weekend so I felt like not well at all and then what happens the next day like it's just like all this stuff is happening all at once so that happened and then the next day uh they reported in the news that there's a two million dollar land spill in um part of oregon that's like 140 miles outside of portland where i live and um it exceeded like way over the state's limits like they some somehow like some company or something illegally dumped uh all this nuclear waste like all this oil into um like a land spill in Oregon and it's like how did okay and nobody's even doing anything about it first of all and that really like can mess up the environment and mess up you know our ecosystem and um I'm sure that they worked on this though because like it went away like the symptoms like I felt like I don't know how to explain it like I I probably sound like really crazy like to some people but I work at this company and we deal with like electronics and stuff like that and um, like there's a lot of uh, machinery and stuff we're making circuit boards and so um, I don't know maybe that could be related to it but I don't know I think like with the radiation from like the land spill and stuff I think that like went into the air and there was a night that I couldn't even like all of a sudden my laptop and my cell phone just shut off and um it would they wouldn't charge at all so, like I tried so hard to charge it and it just wouldn't work and now luckily now everything is working just fine um, but it was a lot of period, there were, there were a lot of periods of praying and, um, just hoping that things would go back to normal because, like, it was just crazy. Like, it sounds like the craziest thing, like, when I say it now, like, almost unbelievable, but that's what I experienced. Like, this is real life. Like, I, I'm just, like, I'm wondering what the hell is going on, like, seriously. Um... And I don't know, maybe it is due to my job. Um, maybe it's like, I don't know. I talked to my dad about it because um, he did the same field of work that I, I'm doing right now. He used to do the exact same thing. And he did it, he said he did it for 30 years and never like felt a thing or any, anything like that. But I, I really do think it was from the radiation from the land spill like mixing in with all of the radiation at my job or something i don't know but um that that's basically like the same thing as dropping a bomb like in your city like it, there was no fire or anything like that but like all of that nuclear waste all the chemicals and stuff like that's the same stuff and um, it's really scary if you think about it because it's like who who did that like who just illegally dumps like it was like two million dollars it was t tons and tons and tons of um, nuclear like oil or whatever um, and then what else oh yeah and then they're also okay so we got Kim Jong-un in North Korea and he is doing all of this testing and stuff like that all the time he's uh testing like stuff in the ocean and it's just ruining all of the seafood and it's like we're pretty much just eating all of that crap if you think about it so seafood's out except some I guess some Seafood is okay because it depends on where they're at in the ocean or something. I guess whitefish is okay or something like that. I guess shrimp's okay because they're at the bottom maybe. I don't know. But I think all of it's honestly just out. Like, we're just out. Like, really. Because, like, it's just going to affect everything. Like, all that stuff affects just everything. And it's like, how can you survive on a planet when they're just dumping that shit into the ocean? And, uh dumping it everywhere in the soil um 
it's just crazy. Like, I'm 24 years old, and I'm probably not gonna live that long because they're doing that crap. Like, I, it just, it breaks my heart, and, like, I have cut, like, nephews and nieces who are, like, babies, practically, and it's like, are you serious? Like, this is what you guys are doing right now? Like, that's really fucked up. Um, and it's like, I don't even know where the hell this stuff is coming from, and they keep deleting, like, news articles and stuff, so it really, it really bothers me, and, um, yeah. And also, the coronavirus, I wanted to mention the coronavirus, because that's going around in the news too lately. We posted an article saying that it hit Oregon or something, that we'd be out, like, we wouldn't make it by next, uh, or by summer even, and, um... I don't believe that, really, because, like, I think that's why they deleted the article, um, because it was, like, false in information. I think they even posted another article that said that there were, like, rumors or something about it being in Oregon, like, but there's actually been no reports except of one, I think, and I think they got that person, like, quarantined or whatever. But this is what's interesting to me about, like, the whole thing. This, like... This just changes the whole ball game for me because um, I went to PetSmart when my, um, oh, okay, going back to uh, when I was feeling really ill. Okay, and this is like not a joke. This was after that whole f foggy day thing happened, foggy night. I went out and I felt loopy. I felt like I was tripping balls, like on shrimps. Like, I'm not even kidding. It felt like my skin, like, whenever I looked in the mirror, like, I don't know if you guys have ever done shrooms, but your face just looks kind of, like, off. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it looks like your normal face, but it's like your, your eyes are all dilated, and, um, your skin just feels weird. It feels almost like you can't feel your skin. Um, that's pretty much exactly how that felt. Um, and, yeah, like, I just think that it's, like, the craziest thing. Like, I can't believe it. Um, because, like, I'm better now. Like, I guess, okay, so say it was arsenic. I'm not sure what the hell it was in that fog. But in wars and stuff, and th they're saying that U.S. is in a cold war right now. And, um, it's just the craziest thing to me. Like, I can't believe it. Like, it's just nuts. Like... Like, this is, like, stuff that they talked about in school and stuff. Like, this stuff wouldn't happen these days, you know? Like, it's just, like, unbelievable to me. Like, it's just so shocking. And there was one night... Okay. <laughs> I want to mention this into this video, too. And I even posted it on my Instagram story because I was, like, freaking out. I thought my sister died. Like, somebody... Okay, so my sister sent me this piece of mail. And then there was a little... Um, it was, like, the envelope itself was, um, like, just really intricately drawn. I guess it was, she told me later it was from a page from, like, a coloring book that she just colored in. But, um, like, it just looked really scary, like, almost, like, demonic or something. Like, there was just a lot of swirls and a lot of, like, like, almost, like, alien, like, uh, crop circle things on it. And, um... Somebody, I guess one of my neighbors got the letter and then they like put it underneath my uh, doormat and then they attached a note, they left a note on my door that said, I received your letter, I put it under your doormat. And so when I got that message, I was like, or when I saw it, I was like, what the hell? And it was also at the same exact time that I was feeling like really, really ill. And... Um, I, there was a lot of confusion, too. That's another thing I want to mention. It was, like, even at work, like, I could not fucking focus for shit on what I was doing. Like, nothing was making sense. Like, it was just, like, my mind kept going in circles, and it was nuts. Like, that's just how it felt. Like, it was so bad. Um, like, it to totally puts you into, um, like just confusion mode and like you don't know how to do anything basically and I thought that it was just gonna keep continuing until like I don't know like <laughs> I'm glad all that's over right now but um I still feel like I can't tell my story straight and I think that's like part of <laughs> why I can't do it is because like 
all that crap that just happened but um so uh yeah so I thought that my sister had evacuated the beach I thought that the, like the coronavirus like hit the beach because she lives at the beach so I thought that she like got like a really bad like I also thought that the like the radiation thing was hitting her too but like my mind was just not in like working mode at all <laughs> Like it's just like it's so funny, but um, I suffered like I was suffering so bad like I, my whole body was shaking and I was like oh my god like they're probably like like I was like suffering serious tremors and it's all I think it was also because of the fog that I went out I think that mainly caused it it wasn't because like um, I was like so worried but at the same time like I just thought that everybody was like dead and like or about to die you know and like um, I thought that I was dying my cats were out too like my cat Norman his body was so weak and like I just don't even know how this is affecting them and it just makes me so worried because like getting that sick one time can like lead to like further things and so I'm really worried about their health right now and so I need to like I'm trying to work harder to um you know get their bills paid go to the take them to the vet and all that because I think it might have affected them as well but they're they seem to be doing really well right now um so okay this video is getting really long okay but um basically uh I got really sick from long story short I got really sick uh from what I think was arsenic I think it was arsenic in that fog my dad said that it was just um probably like a bunch of like the particles from like the cars and stuff getting to me or whatever but you guys this is thick fog and I I really do think that it was like something more poisonous than that. I don't know if it was arsenic or what, but I ended up getting some multivitamins and some vitamin E because vitamin E, I looked it up. I, I had to look into this stuff. Vitamin E and selenium uh, cancels out arsenic. So uh, they don't, I don't think they sell selenium by itself because I think if you take too much, then it like can damage you so um i i went to the store and i found um a multivitamin that had selenium listed it had like over 100 percent selenium in it so i ended up taking i've been taking those lately um with among other supplements and it's funny because my last video i was talking about how i don't believe in taking supplements and so this is just like a weird turn uh for my channel i guess you could say but um it's just really strange, like, all this stuff that, that's been happening. Oh, okay, so I went to PetSmart because my eyes had been burning. That, like, that was another thing that happened. Like, um, like, my eyes were just burning, like, so bad. And I, I have eye drops, so, I, you know, I, I was fine. But I was worried about how my cats were, um, taking it because they were sick, too. So I knew that their eyes were probably burning. So I went to PetSmart. I went to like two different pet smarts. They didn't have any eye drops. I went to uh, Petco, and y'all, like it smelled so bad in there, like bird or something. And um, like I swear, they like <laughs> the coronavirus. Like I think it is actually here, honestly, because I think if I'm not mistaken, I, I could totally be wrong, actually. And just saying a bunch of crap right now but <laughs> I think it came from like birds right the coronavirus and it just smelled so bad in there like bird and like all the cashiers had like rashes on their faces and it just like my symptoms felt like way worse like I felt like I was getting like really sick in there and so like I just try to like go in and out basically of that place and yeah I I'm wondering if Petco, Petco got some, like, bad animals in there or something. I don't know where they're getting their animals from. So, PetSmart has definitely been uh, my go-to store now, um, sadly. But, um, 
yeah, I did find some eye drops in there, so um, I was giving that to my cats, and yeah, um, I haven't really been doing it lately, though, because I don't think it's necessary anymore, like, um, for the past few days, it's actually been a lot better, like, I don't hear that loud, like, ding, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just this really loud, like, high-pitched noise, like, if you turn on the TV or something. That's how it was for, like, so many days straight. Just making me sick. And I think it was because of all the radiation that spilled um, not too far away from Portland. But, yeah, it's just, it really pisses me off. And, like, I didn't know what to eat because, like, um... Like, I, I tried using my stove, too, and I think that the radiation mixed with, like, the electricity and stuff, because I turned on my heater, and the symptoms got really worse when I did that, and, um, even my cat, when my cats threw up, and she never throws up, and, um, like, she was sitting right in front of the heater, so I, like, turned it off immediately, and for a few days, I just did not use electricity for, like, anything. Like, I tried to have, like, eb everything absolutely shut off. Um, but now it's back to normal, and I'm so grateful. Um, you just gotta thank God. Honestly, like, God is good, so, um, yeah. It's just, like, it's just been a crazy week. I don't know how to explain it, like, <laughs> without sounding crazy. But, um, my whole family probably thinks I'm nuts, and I'm sure you guys do too, but I'm just telling you what I really experienced, and it just seems unbelievable, and that's why I'm making it into this video, because, I don't know, maybe I'll be out in, like, a month or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, that's just been what's been going on with my life. <laughs> oh, and I also want to mention my diet as well. Um, so no, I'm trying to avoid seafood, anything in the ocean really, um, except maybe white fish, I'm not sure. I made, like, I didn't want to use electricity because I tried boiling eggs and it, like, started making my head, like, really hot feeling and, like, I don't know, it just, like, hurt, like, to, like, use electricity, um, and... So I went to the store and I went to get some roast beef. I wanted to get some liverwurst. That's why you see a lot of people eating liverwurst, I think, because um, it has a lot of, like, uh, like, yeah, I think it helps. I can't remember what it was, but um, radiation, like, poisoning, like, if you get radiation poisoning, then it kills, like, it can kill your blood cells. So, um... Like, you want to, like, rebuild, like, all those cells and stuff. And, like, if you're just eating, like, vegetables and stuff all the time, then, you know how, like, like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, like, it's not enough. Like, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I went, like, I had to get some meat, basically. And so I ended up getting some roast beef from the deli at Safeway. And, um, I made sandwiches and I'll show you guys how I, like, I make those sandwiches too. Because, <laughs> um, I wanted to make this kind of like a little, like, diet video as well. Um, so, just show you guys some stuff that I've been making lately. And, yeah. So, I ended up making myself a roast beef sandwich. And I felt so much better. And, yeah, that's the end of my story. <laughs> I did also get some steak and um, chicken and stuff. So you guys will see how I make those uh, recipes. I, I like to incorporate a lot of stuff into my videos for you guys. So yeah, it's just some nice, uh, like after I had like the roast beef sandwiches and stuff, like I just, I feel like I got like so much better. And like also the supplements that I've been taking as well. I feel like I just got so much healthier, um, but yeah, I, I'm not, like, lying at all about anything that I'm talking about, like, all the stuff that I experienced, it was just nuts, and oh, yeah, and, like, one night I went out to go get, like, Don Pedro's or something, and, like, 
I swear it was like I was like tripping on shrooms and I think it was because I got poisoned from something in that fog like I really do like I, I went out and I went out driving and like there's just like I like I looked at the um I looked at the power lines and they looked like almost like they were like gassy like there was like some sort of like gas around it and it looked like they were like uh moving or something like I don't know how to explain it but it was so trippy and it was like like I didn't take any drug or anything like that and so that's like the craziest part about it and like there it was like for two days or like three days straight probably I don't even know how long but it was crazy like I was like actually pissed off because it felt like I was tripping involuntarily so like I was like okay this is like fun but it's not because like who knows what the hell could be happening oh and when I was at work too like I heard like um like I could just hear like voices like trail off and I've done like DMT before I've done like I've done it like mostly every hallucin hallucinogen hallucinogenic drug um you can think of and so I know how how like it feels and stuff and that's like why I'm like saying that because um like that's how I can closely relate it to but DMT naturally occurs in your body when you go to sleep and before you die and so like I remember my trip on DMT like the voices were going farther and farther away like it just felt like or, like, you you could just hear, like, voices, like, everyone around you's voices, like, trail off, basically. And that happened to me at work, like, last week, and I was like, what the hell? Like, I was so scared. And, yeah, so, I don't know what the hell that was in the fog, but, <laughs> like, it scares me. And that's why I'm, like, I'm telling this story to you guys. Because I don't know what the hell is going to happen, like, in the future. And I just think it's crazy, like, that this is happening in the world. Like, there's just a lot of crap going on right now. And, um, it's just nuts. Like, I can't believe it. Like, it's just, like, a crazy world we're living in. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here um, with my whole story time. I'm going to go into my diet video kind of show you guys um what I've been eating lately and my like I promised you guys in my last video that I would uh, make a diet video so I wanted to just include a little bit of um recipes in this for you guys so yeah I guess I'll switch to that now okay so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a roast beef sandwich. Okay, so the reason why I, um, I'm not really like normally a sandwich person, but um, within the last week I like started reading the news and I just like started paying attention to what's been going on, like politics wise and stuff like that. Normally I'm not into politics at all and the news and it's for a good reason too. <laughs> um, it's just like, it makes you go in circles and it's just so time consuming and, um, but I'm glad I learned about all this stuff and I actually just read more, um, information and so now I have no more knowledge about, um, what's going on in, like, the news and stuff like that and, um, I filmed a portion of this in my car and um i didn't quite understand mostly what i was talking about because i didn't research enough but more articles are coming out and like an article was just released today and so that's why um i know more about it about the issue that i'm talking about with like the land spill and like the nuclear waste and all that stuff so it turns out they've been um, dumping this, uh, the tons and tons of radioactive waste in Oregon, um, for the past, like, three years. So this stuff has already been here, but I guess the state, um, is saying that they don't think that it's going to cause any health risks, 
um, for anybody because like unless you have like direct contact with it then it'll cause a lot of health risks and like I was also thinking about it like they test uh, marijuana for like harsh chemicals and stuff like that and nothing shows up if the weed's fine then we gotta be fine right <laughs> I hope that's how it works but the reason why I went out of my way and got like the roast beef um, and stuff I turned up my microwave is still off like I turned off my microwave um, because it was just bothering me and um, I don't know I don't know what it was that got me like so sick I really do think it was that fog or whatever it was um, so I think that's what's been like getting to me lately because um yeah like it's just like <sighs> craziness but <clears throat> but I did get really ill and um like I already explained to you guys about that so I'm gonna leave it at that but what you guys probably didn't know is the fact that every state has a site where they pour all of this nuclear waste into it they like every state has its own landfill basically that they're just putting nuclear waste and um it's all over america like uh, i think they said washington has um in washington state which is just right above oregon like it's so close um they are dumping like 53 million gallons i think they said or something like that um I think it was gallons of nuclear waste, but it's just so much. And they just started talking about this in Oregon because somebody was dumping it illegally. And now they're not getting fined, and it's just like a big thing right now. So, with that said, um, we could all be breathing in these harsh chemicals and stuff because all this stuff is just floating in the air right i mean like we, we're pretty much all dying because of that um and that's why people get cancers and stuff like that like so yeah um so i went on google i googled it and um i just typed in how do you die of radiation uh poisoning or I guess it would be from radiation poisoning. But radiation damages your stomach and intestines, blood vessels, and bone marrow, which makes blood cells. Damage to bone marrow lowers the number of disease-fighting white blood cells in your body. As a result, most people who die from radiation sickness are killed by infections or internal bleeding. So... You can get over, like, they have radiation therapy and stuff like that that they use for, like, to treat different cancers and stuff, and the patients can still get sick from the radiation, and so they tell them to, ha like, they put them on a specific diet, basically. So the radiation kills blood cells, and um, that's how it kills people, basically. They just die from, like, infections and stuff and get cancer, and... Um, so I googled what types of foods are best for building blood cells and um, the first thing that comes up is red meat and such as beef and then it says Oregon meat such as kidney and liver. I don't know if you guys noticed this but uh, liverwurst is really popular right now. A lot of people are eating like liverwurst sandwiches and stuff like that. I was actually on the hunt for a good liverwurst. But, um, it seems like all the ones that they have, like, at stores and stuff, are pork. And pork, um, can give you worms. Like, a lot of pork, like, products, um, can actually give 
eat worms and it's just disgusting like I don't want to eat pork that's why a lot of people don't eat pork my dad doesn't eat pork I don't think my mom eats pork anymore and so yeah kind of just cancels out you know bacon and stuff like that but yeah bacon can give you worms it's kind of gross um it says to eat dark leafy green vegetables such as spinach and kale dry, dried fruits such as prunes and raisins beans le legumes i don't know how to say that um egg yolks so yeah those are the best types of foods to eat to help build blood cells and that goes for like anything really it's like um like if you're if you smoke i think that kills blood cells as well so um if you're a smoker then you're gonna want that as part of your diet as well because most um most things that kill you will kill your blood cells so you always want to be building your blood cells <coughs> and the number one thing on there is red meat and I think it's because it fills you up and stuff like that and it has a lot of iron or something in it so that is why I ran to the store and got some uh, roast beef and um, like I actually really like the roast beef that I got I also got spinach I said dark leafy cranes so it's kind of the perfect um, sandwich the only bad thing about having a sandwich right now is the bread probably like soaks up a lot of what's in the air if you think about it that way so I don't know what's good or what's bad okay so the, the roast beef that I got was from Safeway and it's the home style double roast double R roast beef I'm not sure what that means um so it looks like so for this roast beef sandwich you're gonna need oh okay. oh and I will say also for my salads I've been using um this this salad dressing it is the organics balsamic vinaigrette this one has green tea in it and it was on clearance so that's why i got it because um i actually really needed balsamic vinegar for my salads and guess what balsamic vinegar helps build blood cells and so that's kind of amazing it's a thing to open on right it's like perfect on spinach salads i just love balsamic vinegar okay so for the sandwich it's pretty basic um i like like sliced olives you can buy sliced olives at the store these were the better deal though these um full olives so i'm just gonna slice them myself so for like one sandwich you probably need like i don't know six olives seven olives two four six seven okay I'm just gonna go ahead and slice these olives. Okay, so we got sliced olives. Um, olives also help add oxygen to your blood, so it's really good. Um, really good for your blood. Anything that helps your blood. Okay, and the mayonnaise that I'm using is this kind that I got from H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. Um, they have some in some states, so you might have one in your area. Um, this is called Kanko. It's K-E-N-K-O. I'll show you. 
what it looks like. Actually, this. It's this um, mayonnaise. So it comes in like this bag. And always gotta have some of that on hand. I prefer this over regular mayonnaise just because it has like the little squeezy tube and it tastes, it's probably healthier too than regular mayonnaise so that's why we use this. And then just some yellow mustard. Yellow mustard actually has turmeric in it, that's why it's yellow. Turmeric is really good for your um, joints and stuff like that, not various things. So like it helps like ar arthritis and whatnot. Um, so if you have a hard labor job, then mustard is really nice to incorporate into your meals. Okay, and then now I'm gonna add my cheese. I'm using some local uh, Tillamook cheese, pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna add my spinach, and then I'm gonna add my roast beef. I hate when they double bag the roast beef. It's like they put the roast beef in two bags. Like that's gonna make it way more like, for no reason. But whatever. Okay, so this is the roast beef that I got. Yummy, yummy. It's super good. Really good quality roast beef. I had my olives. Sorry, chopped up. And then I also just picked up some pickles. Pickles are really um, beneficial. <laughs> I can open the jar. Jeez. I think I can open this. Oh, I got it open, but I spilled it everywhere. So pickles are really good for like your stomach and stuff like that. Cause they're um sort of like kombucha. I can't think of the terminology right now, but you know like kombucha um is fermented, so pickles are like fermented. And yeah, that's my roast beef sandwich. So in my salad, I have a number of things. I have spinach, mushroom, purple cabbage, carrots, corn, um, cucumber, olives, radish. I don't know if you can see the radish. Um, sunflower seeds, and also kidney beans. Kidney beans actually help. Um, kidney beans have a lot of benefits, like improving memory and stuff like that so beans are really good to add to your salad and so yeah that is my salad that I made I already steamed my broccoli I just threw um, you know like these big broccoli heads in there 
and um, with a little bit of water in my instant pot and just steamed it for like five minutes. And this is the chicken that I got. I just got it from Safeway. They're just um, these little strips for stir fry. They're already sliced for you. So it takes out a lot of the messy work. Got some garlic chopped up and I'm gonna dice these onions. Um, my pan is a little brown already because I cooked a little bit of chicken for my kitties. So, I always try to share um, meat with them. So, I put all my chicken in the pan and I'm going to let that cook first because it's taking up like a majority of the space in the pan. <clears throat> and it's going to need some air to breathe and cook properly. So, also the strips are too long. I want them to be maybe like half the size of the strips that they are now. So once they're done cooking, I'm gonna put them on that chopping board, cut them in half, and I got my onion and garlic on this plate ready to go. So once these are out, I'll cut them and then put the garlic and the onion in the pan and let that start cooking. Oh. I might want to mention this too. This is the reason, the whole reason why I'm doing this dish is uh, this dish is actually inspired by um, a dish that my sister used to make for me when I was a kid. My sister Charlotte, she uh, used to make broccoli and shrimp and add peanut butter to it and it was so good. Like, I had to make some for my mom as well and she doesn't like shrimp at all so that's why I use the chicken. And um, the reason why I'm making this dish is because I had made peanut sauce for my chicory salad. And I mixed, what I did was I mixed honey, what else? It was like honey, I don't think I put soy sauce in there. I think sesame oil, um, Adam's peanut butter, it's mostly just peanut butter. But it has like water, honey, I think I put sesame oil in here. And I feel like there's something else, but I can't remember. Um, so now I just have all this leftover peanut butter. Oh, and I just remembered that I have um, this purple cabbage. So <clears throat> I always keep the head of purple cabbage in my refrigerator for my salads. And I try to incorporate it with like any meal possible. It has a lot of good skin benefits. Um, so there are benefits for your skin so that's why I try to incorporate it into my meals. And um, so I'm just going to chop this up, slice it up into pieces and then I'll probably add that first with my onions and garlic after the chicken's done. So I'll get some more veggies in this dish. I'm just going to cook this until they're like golden brown on the sides like that so baby girl baby girl has been <laughs> hi she's been eating like all the chicken <laughs> yes you have <laughs> and Norman hasn't really been eating that much been hogging all the all the goodies so I'm actually not gonna wait until they get golden brown because I don't want to overcook them because I'm gonna cook them a second time so I'm gonna take them out right now put them on my chopping board and you can see all the juice and the fat is like on the from the chicken is on the pan so I don't even need to use butter or oil or anything like that so I'm going to just throw in my uh, garlic and onions and I'm also going to throw in my cabbage. And cabbage takes a little while to like, you know, get soft and stuff so I'm going to let that cook for a little bit while I chop up my chicken and as also my broccoli as well. For future reference, I don't think you should steam the broccoli like I did because as you can see it's just like 
really soft like it's almost like too soft so I normally like the broccoli to be a little bit like crispy if that makes sense but not super soft and steamed so this isn't how I normally would have made it but um, I think I steamed the broccoli for a little bit too long in the instant pot because um, it was steaming for like five minutes and um, yeah so the broccoli is a little bit softer than I normally would like it chickens all chopped up um, the cabbage and the onions are still cooking a little bit still kind of rough so I'm gonna let these soften up oh yeah and I said I was gonna add some spinach so probably now is a good time to add that in there it's a little bit rough so just switch to using my wok because it's a lot larger um, but since we're just kind of reheating everything right now and everything's already cooked we don't really have to do that so it's kind of okay if it's over the point like this Okay, I'm not gonna lie, but this dish was tasting really bland, and so I added some pepper to it. And it actually tastes so much better. So, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely don't wanna forget the pepper. It actually made a huge difference to how this <laughs> tasted. Because it really is like broccoli pasta, sort of. Since the broccoli just like melted into everything, it kind of became like the base, turned everything green. <laughs> so the pepper definitely did help a lot. So for my work lunch, I just put, um, I only work three days a week, so I uh, try to prepare my uh, lunches ahead of time if possible because it's three days in a row and it's 12 hour shifts, so it kind of gets hectic a little bit. But um, I just have some rolled oats with pumpkin seed, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and that's it. And then I'll also, closer to when I actually, um, like the night before each day, I just add uh, some frozen fruit. And right now I have mango. I'm using these ones have strawberries. And the strawberries are not cut up at all. They're just like whole strawberries. So I'm going to save these for a smoothie. I'm not using those ones for um, my oatmeal. And I, I like using blueberries too because they just fall out so easily. And um, yeah. And then I just add almond milk. And that's my work lunch basically. And as far as snacks go... I like mixed nuts um, because they're just uh, filling, make you feel full, you know, and um, where is it? I don't know what I'm going to do for my work lunch this weekend. I'm trying to save money, so I'm trying to use all the ingredients that I have in my pantry, so I'm probably going to get some, or I'm probably going to just do like Ritz crackers and like peanut butter or something. A bunch of chocolate. <laughs> My mom gave me so much chocolate. So I could probably take those too for a little sugar boost, actually. So yeah, it's my work lunch. What, Norman? What? 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 <laughs> and I like to um, make PB and J's for my work lunch too because twelve-hour shifts are a long day. You get like I think I get like four breaks or something. So. <clears throat> Got the jam, got the peanut butter, 
I use Adam's uh, peanut butter. And then I also take some salad for my first break. And bananas too. Bananas are amazing. So yeah, that's like my whole work lunch. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the store and get some emergency, um, those little emergency packets because they, um, I guess they have more than like 10 times the serving that you're supposed to have for vitamin C daily. So I love those things. I always take them when I'm at work too. It just gives you a nice little like energy boost. I feel like, um, it just makes you feel like healthy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, have, I feel like I have a little cold now, so I'm going to go get some of those, take that and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is underscore underscore Jasmine Kim, and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it, if you thought it was interesting, and um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video, I hope, bye!